Welcome to another studio tutorial. We're now going to talk about setting a fixed position for your elements and when it might come in handy. Now, like I've mentioned before, in most of your design, you should be using relative positioning, but fixed positions can come in handy when you want to overlay elements on top of other elements and ignore the position of elements inside of your design. This could be used for sticky headers or chat bubbles that stay fixed to a certain edge or corner of your browser window and stay overlaid on top of other elements. Now let's take a look at a few examples of how we can do this. Now if we click on this navigation inside of our design, we can see that the position right now is relative, meaning that it stacks on top of all of these other elements. Now if I want this to stay fixed on the browser window, I can position this to be fixed. And now you can see as I move this, we have this left and top dotted line that's telling me where this is going to be fixed within my design. Now I want this to stay fixed on the top left here and be on top of all the other elements. So now when I resize this nav bar, you can see that none of the other elements below are changing. Now let's take a look at this live preview. You'll notice as I scroll down through the design that our navigation bar stays on top of all the other elements and stays fixed on top of our browser window. Now let's look at another way we can use fixed positions to position a chat bubble on the bottom right of our browser window. So I'm going to scroll down here first and I'm going to drag a box here near the bottom and let's hurry and design this box. I'm going to give this a black fill and I want this to be 100 pixels by 100 pixels and let's give this a 50 pixel radius and that'll make that into a circle. Now I can come up into position but you might notice that I have an absolute position and I'm not able to fix this position. Now that is because if we go into our layers panel, you'll notice that this box is inside of a parent element. Now in order to fix this on top of the screen, it needs to be at the very top layer and it can't be inside of any other parent elements. So let's drag this clear to the bottom right here. And now you can see that it's the top layer just below base. Now I can come into position and you'll notice that now I have this fixed option. So I'm going to click on that and that's going to fix that clear up to the top left here. And so now as I drag this, you'll see that things are positioned to the left and the top. If I drag this circle now over to the right, now it's going to be pinned to the right top. So now I can scroll down, drag this circle clear down to the bottom. And as soon as I do that, you'll notice that now it's pinning to the bottom right. And I can change the distance here in the top bar. So I want this to sit 100 pixels over to the right and also 100 pixels from the bottom. Now I can scroll down here and we can see that in action. The last thing I want to do is just find an icon here for chat. And I can drag this icon inside of this fixed circle. I'm going to quickly change the color of this to white and let's change the size to 36. So now we have our chat bubble. If we go into our live preview now, you can see that chat bubble stays fixed as we scroll down the design. It stays fixed to the bottom right of our design. And if we want to change the position now, let's say that we want this to be 50 pixels to the right and 50 pixels to the bottom. We can come back into our design and now we can see that changed there as well. And those are just a few examples of how you can use fixed positioning in your design. 